Welcome back to Metal Tips and Tricks. My name's Dale. About two weeks ago, actually it was the first day of the new year, I did a video called Goals of 2016. And in that video, I laid out what the goals are for Metal Tips and Tricks and also developing a website. And in that video, I also talked about taking a survey. I have to say the response was amazing. I had almost 400 people respond to that survey and I want to go over a little bit of the information that I gathered from that because I know some of you, of you were very curious what went on with that survey. I set up the questions to help me understand what you as a viewer want to see more on my YouTube channel but also to help guide me into developing a website called MetalTipsAndTricks.com to learn about metalworking. It is going to be your resource. It's not going to be about me. It's going to be about you and what you want to learn. The first question I asked is, what level of metal worker do you consider yourself? First one is about 10% of you full-time pro, part-time pro about 10% of you, hardcore hobbyist 20%, which that's my category, I'm a hardcore hobbyist. 40% hobbyist, just getting started, 20%, and then about 5% spectators, which I love that. This channel I'm trying to develop for everybody, including the spectators. The next question I asked, what is your favorite machine? And I wanted to understand what you guys really, really like about metalworking, so I can make sure that I touch on that enough times. Favorite machine is, 43% of you, it's the metal lathe. And then 41% of you like the milling machine. Pretty even up. Very, very cool. This is interesting. What kind of machines do you own? And I want to know that because I want to make sure that I'm doing videos that applies to your shop. And that's what I try to do in Metal Tips and Tricks. Now, every once in a while, I'll throw in an extra little machine that you can learn about. But I do want to concentrate on what you guys like or already own, which metal lathe was 83%. Vertical milling machine, 70%. Horizontal mill, 14%. I'm kind of bummed. I was hoping that number was going to be higher because then I was going to be able to justify buying a horizontal milling machine. So I guess I'm going to have to hold that off until next year. <laughs> drill press is 85%. All of us kind of own a drill press. Um, horizontal metal cutting bandsaw, 55. Vertical metal cutting bandsaw, 35. Welder, 80%. Surface grinder, 15%. Tool grinder, 30%. Now, I got to specify a tool grinder is I'm not talking about a pedestal grinder or a bench grinder, and I may have kind of messed that one up a little bit. A tool grinder looks very similar to a surface grinder, except instead of having a magnetic chuck on it, you actually have different type of attachments that you mount to the table. So a little bit different. Question nine, what type of metalworking machine do you want to see more videos on? And I think this is a good one because this is really gives me an idea of what percentage should be in different categories. So lathe and milling machine are about equal. That's what you guys want to see more about. Surface grinding is number three on the list. And I'm very excited about that because I've got an entire room dedicated just to grinding. And there's a surface grinder in there, there's a tool grinder in there, there's, I don't know, three pedestal grinders plus some sanders. So there's some interesting stuff in a room that I've never even taken you guys into. Excited about doing videos there. Next is welding. Welding is really interesting. Welding is one of my passions. I love to weld. And I'm excited about doing some welding videos. And I want to say I want to change the nomenclature or the definition of some of the welding terms out there to make it easier for the hobbyists to really get into welding and become better at welding. I also want to get rid of some of the myths about welding. There's a lot of them out there that need to be brought back to the roots of where they started. 
and I'll get onto that subject another day. Um, the sheet metal work, you guys want to see more of that? I'm very excited about that. I've got a bunch of sheet metal tools that I've never shown on a video before that it's really exciting. Sheet metal work is, it's kind of like working with plywood in the shop, in the wood shop. Is you get these big sheets and you get to cut them down and make really cool things. Things can be a lot, well, how do I want to say that? You can build some really cool things with sheet metal that you can't do any other way. And I'm really excited to expand on that and teach you guys what I know. So let's go to videos you want to see. And this one here, I broke it down differently, not about machines, but more about the subject matter. So tools and techniques, or I mean tips and techniques was on the top of the list. 47% of you like that. And you know, my channel is Metal Tips and Tricks. And I want to expand on that like I have been. My last several videos have been just about techniques and you guys seem to really, really enjoy that type of subject matter. And I'm gonna keep building on that. Small projects was at 20%. I really love building the small projects because we need to take these techniques and apply them to the real world. Then we've got big projects, metal machine rebuilding. Not a lot of you are excited about machine uh, rebuilding, but by reading your comments, I also noticed that you guys would like to understand how to make your machines better. And I'm gonna start doing some stuff on that, especially on the lathe. There's things that need to be upgraded on a lathe that can really help take it to the next level and they're not big productions. Uh, tool reviews, you know, I'm excited about doing tool reviews. I want you guys to see what's out there, but not a lot of you were excited about tool reviews, but we'll see. I'll do a couple more tool reviews. I seem to get great responses on them because I think there's some amazing tools out there and to know what their strengths, strengths and weaknesses are can save you a lot of money in the long run. Shop updates and new tools. Um, every once in a while, I'm going to do one of those based on this survey, just to let some of you guys, you know, that love that kind of stuff, I'm going to start doing a couple of those every once in a while. And those may just be more of a fill-in during the week instead of more of my main shows. So here is what you guys have been waiting for, is I asked you to list your top five YouTube people or your five top YouTube channels. And the results are in who is number one, two, three, four, and five. But I have to break it down in who's number one in the category and who's two, three, four, and five down that. Who's number two, three, four, five, and go down that. So it's more of a grid than it is an actual who's the most popular. But there is two guys that really did shine and well, Let's get on with the show and I'll show you who they are. <laughs> so Adam is number one and number one on the chart. Below him is Tom Lipton, Keith Fenner, Mr. Pete, and then me at the bottom, Metal Tips and Tricks. So number two, Adam Booth, Tom Lipton, Keith Fenner, Metal Tips and Tricks, I moved up one, and then Mr. Pete. Number three, all right, number three is Tom Lipton, Keith Ruckard, Metal Tips and Tricks, Adam and Keith Fenner. Number four, Tom Lipton takes number four again. I take number two, Metal Tips and Tricks, Keith Ruckard, Adam, Mr. Pete. And top five, number one in top five category is Metal Tips and Tricks. Thanks, guys. Keith Ruckard, Mr. Pete, Keith Fenner, and new on the list, that lazy machinist. So this is an interesting list. Basically, Adam Booth and Tom Lipton came out on top. I'm very excited about that. Those guys do an amazing job. Now, I'm not sure if it's fair that I'm on the list. And not that I don't appreciate you guys voting for me, but this survey was based was only from YouTubers that saw my YouTube channel. And next year what I'm going to do is I'm going to invite
my other friends out there in the YouTube community to also take this survey and to present it on their channel so we get a lot larger pool and really see how that shakes out in the end. So I'm very, very excited about that. The other part I was really excited about this is on this list, which is quite long, there was about 80, 85 people on that list of YouTube channels that a lot of those I haven't heard of or have not discovered. So I'm very excited about that. So what I'm going to start doing is on my Q&A videos, like this one that comes out on Wednesday, I'm going to start talking about somebody new in the YouTube world that does metalworking. I'm very excited about that because there's so many great channels out there that we don't always have time to go out and find them. But I want to talk about one specific. We're going to start it today. We're going to talk about this old Tony. This old Tony, I think, has one of the best YouTube channels out there. He also has the best sense of humor. Very dry, but I'm sometimes just rolling on the floor when I hear him speak. Fantastic. He doesn't have a lot of videos out there, but the ones he does have out there are of top quality. He has one on building a hydraulic press that's fantastic. One he had completely refurbished a surface grinder and had to scrape the ways. Really dialed that machine in. His most recent video is covering over making a CNC router milling machine from scratch. Really, really a great series. So I want you guys to check out this old Tony. I think you'll really appreciate his channel. Now, also on my video that I did two weeks ago, I wanted to ask for your support to help me build a website. And this website is not going to be, again, about me. This is going to be a metalworking resource. And there's going to be different levels of it. The first website I'm going to put out is going to be quick and easy, and it's going to be a template. And you guys will be able to go there, and you'll be able to find some resources. Second, third, and fourth, and fifth generation, I'm going to keep adding different modules to it, if that's a fair term and expanding it to where it's a true resource where you can go and find out information on metalworking. And I'm really excited about it. I don't want to go into the whole details of it right now because I'm not sure if what I want to do can be done. But what I do need is your help. I need your help in raising money so I can develop this website. The more help that I get from you guys financially, the better the website is going to be and the faster it's going to get put together. I would like to see this thing up 100% in one year. The reality is that's not going to happen unless I raise a lot of money. So with whatever I do get, I am going to put into that resource and be able to hire somebody to program a website for us that is that will meet all my goals. And I love one gentleman. He made a comment about how he would like to see the channel formatted. And he wants it basically formatted around machinist handbook and I thought that was a fabulous idea. Basically the goal of this channel or the goal of this website is to become kind of a machinist handbook but formatted in a way that you can quick and easily get to the information you want and get to that important information that you need. So here's how I'm going to start out raising money. I'm going to go straight through YouTube so if you go to my home page, you'll see on the right hand side where it says support this channel. You can click on that and you can donate money that way. In a few more weeks, I'm going to set up another way. You'll be able to support me through PayPal. And then I'm looking at using Patreon and I haven't decided to go that way yet. The challenge for me is there's different levels of Patreons. And each level, you know, the more you give, the higher level you go up. Well, for me to get into those higher levels, it takes resources, time resources away from me to developing other things. So I'm still looking at Patreon. I just haven't decided to go that way yet. So right now we're set up. Just donate through YouTube. 
in a couple of weeks, we'll be able to go through PayPal. And again, this channel or this website is going to be for you guys. It's not going to be about me. It's going to be a resource for you guys. Well, there we go. Kind of what's going on at Metal Tips and Tricks. Very excited about getting the website up and running. So if you like this video, please give me some thumbs up. Also, give me some of your comments on what we can do more to improve this channel and also to build the website. And until next time, go out in your shop and build something cool. Thanks. Mm -hmm.